Hey everyone, welcome to Play Jason. You could be anywhere in the world watching anything, but you're here watching this, so thank you. My name is Jason, I write for guitar.com and the Fretboard Journal. Also, I'm a co-host on Working Class Music. So, Warris Audio just dropped their brand new power supply, the Canvas Power. I've been using this for a few weeks now, and I thought it'd be fun to think of five reasons why you should definitely check this out. But first, as always, I'd like to thank my friends over at Warris Audio for sending this out to me. Thank you. If you're interested in a written review, I'm currently working on that. And for updates, you can follow guitar.com or myself over at, at guitar or at Jason T. Mays. Anyways, let's get started. Number five, USB-C. The Canvas Power 8 and above have a USB-C charging port. While this might not seem like a big deal to most, and admittedly it might be a little niche to others, I actually think this is a little lifesaver, especially for folks who have a phone or tablet and they use them for things like having an always on set list or like a lyric sheet for their musical performances. Also, it's pretty nifty if you're doing an eight hour synth interpretation of Siddhartha. So if you're live streaming it, it won't die on you. I guess that's pretty cool. Number four, voltage selection. Trying to run a pedal board with various voltage ratings can be kind of a hassle. Either you have a power supply that provides accurate voltage, typically in one or two slots, or you don't. However, the Canvas power supply gives you variable voltage selection, which in turns means you no longer have to worry about either underpowering your pedals or possibly frying them. Each output is rated at nine volts DC, 500 milliamps. This means they can power a wide variety of pedals on the market. However, before connecting, make sure to check your pedals voltage, polarity, and power requirement. So if you have a pedal that requires 18 volts or 12 volts, Canvas Tuner has you covered. Also, it should be noted that 12 volts, you have 375 milliamps max, and in 18 volts, you have 250 milliamps max. Number three, mounting brackets. Let's be honest, in this day and age, it kind of blows my mind that a lot of manufacturers don't ship power supplies with mounting brackets. And some of them, you have to buy them separately. But the Canvas Power has you covered. And that makes installing them so much easier, especially if you don't want to Velcro your power supply to your pedal board. Power 5 includes C-style brackets for mounting to flat layer boards. The 8, 15, and 22 will come with L-style brackets for raised boards. Number two, modularity. So let's take a look at how modular the Canvas Power is. The Canvas Power comes in four flavors. It doesn't come in chocolate chip cookie dough, though. Kind of sad. The Canvas Power 5 has five isolated power outputs, with one of them having a variable voltage switch. The Canvas Power 8 has eight isolated power outputs, two of which have the variable voltage switch. Also, you do get a USB-C. As the name implies, the Canvas Power 15 has 15 isolated power outputs, two of which are variable voltage, and that does come with USB-C. Last, and certainly not least, is the Canvas Power 22. The Canvas Power 22 has 22 isolated power outputs, two of which are still variable voltage. Yet again, USB-C is included. All of these are completely combinable by the way of the 24 volt link output. What this means for you is as your pedal board grows and becomes sentient like Skynet, you can get another canvas power supply and link them together and power a shit ton of pedals. Bonus round. One unique feature of this power supply is the onboard power meter. The onboard power meter lets you clearly see how much power is being consumed from the DC brick, which is a big help if you are having any power related issues. Number one, isolated power. So this might seem like the most obvious reason and probably a no brainer for the number one spot, but you'd be surprised at the amount of folks who don't know the difference between an isolated power supply and non-isolated. So let's take a look at the meaning of each. 
Let's start with isolated power. Isolated power supplies insulate each power source from one another, despite sharing the same circuit. This offers a separate path to each pedal compared to a daisy chain setup, where the power flows into a single pedal to the next. So with a clean isolated power, there are no grounding paths between each of the pedals. And as a result, it eliminates the ground loops as well as the associated hum. So in other words, less to no noise. Non-isolated power supplies share the same circuit and the same electricity. In other words, it increases the noise and electrical interference in your signal. So for those of you with mid to larger size pedal boards, isolated power supplies are probably the best way to go if you want to avoid any or all noise issues. So that's why this is my number one. Those are my top five reasons why the Canvas Power is worthy of powering your pedal collection. If you'd like to see more top five episodes, let me know down below. Like there's a couple of things that I'm interested in doing and uh, I think this could be a new fun segment. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're an adult and you do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care, but it would be kind of cool if you did. Thanks again and laters.